What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Lil Clay Clay, welcome to another video. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to replace a brush roll on the Dyson DC65 vacuum. Um, if you guys remember, this is actually the vacuum from that YouTube short I did on the one that makes a creepy sound when it shuts off. Um, if you guys are new here, my name is Lil Clay Clay and I have high functioning autism. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you need, obviously, is the part. And I have it right here. Um, you can get this off of Amazon. Um, and um, after that, obviously you wanna test to make sure because it comes with two parts that you put the right part on. And I actually forgot which part it was, so I'm gonna give it a whirl real quick. Let's see if I can remember which part it is. I'm gonna plug my laptop here. that creepy sound again <laughs> so it will be this one right here so now that we know let's go ahead and get the cord out of the way my roommate comes back in here um, what you guys are And um, so, I have a pretty good diagnosis on to what is causing this. Um, most likely is because the part on here is broken off because, fun fact, um, I'll use the new part to show you guys. As you guys can see here, the brush roll isn't actually attached together when you put it on the vacuum cleaner. It's attached actually separately. So most likely the thing that keeps the brush roll together, a piece on one side is broken off, so you need to replace it. And it's actually very easy. Um, one cool thing about this compared to the previous generation of the Dyson Ball is that you don't need to have it attached to the upright itself to replace it. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put the machine down like that and then you see a little red thing right up here uh oh um I think I'm doing something wrong actually hang on let me think guys it's been a while since I've done something like this and then you're going to want to remove the part carefully without damaging the vacuum, especially since this vacuum is not mine. And if it doesn't work, there we go. So now that's off. And then lift the machine back up. I'm going to put the camera down right here for a second, guys. And you're going to take the part off like that. So we're going to take the upright part, um, move it over there, and then now we're going to sit the brush roll part over. We're going to turn these two gray knobs right here. Sure they're both intact. Then we're gonna tip it over again. There we go. And this has been removed as you can see. And now the 
next part is a little tricky. We're going to have to go into the table for the next part. So give me a f just a few seconds and we'll be right back. Alright, so now that we have a screwdriver, we're going to carefully in your Phillips head. Oop, I forgot one more thing. So once again, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Oop, my camera zoomed in on me for some reason. Um, the net, one thing you're going to want to have is a little cup to keep the screws in one place so they don't fall everywhere because then that wouldn't be good. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is take the Phillips head screwdriver and take all these screws out. I'm going to wait to record till after I'm done because this will probably take a while since I have a really big Phillips head. It's the only one I have right now and um, it'll probably take a while because these screws are really small. So give me a minute to take these screws out and I will be back in the flesh. Alright guys, so as you can see, I just took the piece off and um, there's the, you can't probably can't see too well, but there's some stuff inside of the thing that here that has caused this piece to kind of break off, as you can see right here, and that's pretty common with brush rolls like these, um, and before people start asking, is this because of poor maintenance or anything like that, that's not the case, you know. This happens on any kind of vacuum, um, whether no matter how hard you clean it, um, and no matter whether you use it once a month or once a week or maybe once a year, you know what happens. So, um, you know, this necessarily isn't your fault, um, but there is an easy way to fix it, and so now that we have this off. I'm gonna go ahead, I think I might have to remove the rest of the vacuum itself, and I'm gonna um, replace the part. So the part comes with two pieces, new part comes with two pieces, which is what's on here right now, and then the other half right here, what you're gonna want to do is play with them to make sure you have the right one on. So if, for example, this is the right one that's supposed to go into the vacuum, so what you're gonna want to do is you want to take this one part off, by removing the screw and then the washer again make sure you have your cup so that way you don't lose the parts um find a place to put the camera let's see real quick make sure i don't fill my roommate's stuff all right that's good enough sorry you can't see my face but that's the best that i can do So we're going to um, use my little thing here and move the screw. Having a little trouble here. Okay, so I quit recording because, actually I didn't quit recording, um, but I have this piece removed because, like I said, it comes with two of them, and this is the one that you need. The next thing you're going to want to remove is the washer onto the, um, that's on the vac vacuum, the brush roll that you want to replace the brush roll with, because, as you can see here, this one already has a washer and everything, um, um, and I know I didn't demonstrate this earlier because I knew it would take too long, but all you really gotta do is just, I'm not gonna put it all the way on there so it doesn't, I don't have to, uh, have to try and pull it off again. What you wanna do is carefully keep pushing like this 
you don't want to push too hard because if you do it could it might break something on the brush roll but then next thing you want to do is remove the washer we'll do that right away um, you're going to need probably a flathead screwdriver which I shall go to retrieve and I shall be right back so the washer has now been removed I'll let me show you guys sorry I didn't record I figured that might take a while but it was really easy what you do here is you um, take your flathead just put it up there and gently push it off and then bada bing bada boom there's also a little black piece that will come off as well let me show that to you real quick come here you get over here there's a little piece right here that comes off too so now what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully put it back take the new part put it back in the brush roll like this There we go. And now we're gonna need the old brush roll again because we're gonna need a part off of it. Oh, that I actually took off of it. That's this part right here. Basically what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, um, I'm gonna put it back on here just to show you guys. Take either a screwdriver, flathead would probably be better. And you're gonna wanna take it just take it out like that. That might be a bit hard depending on how old your vacuum is, but you want to also remove some of the dirt that's on the machine so that way um, it's not that way it won't cause that issue again. Probably should have asked for another part right here where it didn't come with that unfortunately. It stinks. go so now I'm just looking to make sure there's no other screw that I need to take out so the next thing you want to do is remove the dirt off of that So then you're going to want to remove the other brush roll because you'll need to clean this last part up. Alright y'all, so it turns out that that wasn't the right, the actual problem with the Dyson. It actually was more to, to what you thought. Um, there was a piece, a black piece that was broken off and I couldn't find the piece on eBay so I talked to the people and told them they might want to get a bigger brush head. Basically, I mean. Another brush head, which means basically the thing with basically the whole piece, which is the motor, the brush roll, the the base, everything. Um, that mainly was, but this was mainly just to show you guys how to dismember the brush roll off of it. But I will be doing a video on how to install the piece. Um, should they decide to get another piece, um, but if hope you hope that was still educational. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.